Okay, there are fundamentally three steps. Okay, so these three steps are to learn, to connect, and to execute. When I say learn, you need to learn the basics of business analysis. You need to learn the basics of whichever domain you are want to work in or already working, whether it's banking sector, healthcare sector, automobile, whether it's education sector. The other is business analysis skills in terms of getting knowledge from various certification. Now there is one question that is being asked, how different is CBAB or other certification from Agile Analysis Certification. Yeah? So uh, just to give you an idea there, Agile Analysis Certification is primarily driven from the fact that you wanted to understand the various processes, the various methods, the various techniques that as a business analyst you want to put together while working in an agile environment. So just to summarize that, it's a two-hour test with no eligibility, but uh, I really recommend it would be good if you have two to three years of experience. Now, often at times people ask me this question, is certification really needed? And to answer, to answer that question, for most of the people, yes. For some, might not be because they are lucky enough to get into the project. The project makes sure that they get the right set of training. The project ensure that they get the right set of mentor to explain them what needs to be done, how it needs to be done, and they built up their career over a period of time. But most of the remaining part, it helps in getting the vocabulary. So when you talk with business or stakeholders or going for an interview, it's important that you speak the vocabulary, you understand what is portfolio Kanban, for example, what is planning session, when you use story mapping. Now this, all these Either you can learn from various blogs that are available on internet or YouTube channels or you have a concise and well-defined structure in terms of certification that give you an insight and ideas how it needs to be built up question because the applicability part will come over a period of time. So for example, even if the Certification might have talked about 20 techniques. You might only be able to apply one or two in your current program. But then the certification will enable you to identify which is the best for your project or for your Once you learn and evolve, the second part is to connect. Now it's really important to connect with other business managers. It's really important to become a member of your local chapter or community group or meetup or Facebook group in order to get an understanding what is happening on a day-to-day -day basis. You can join some LinkedIn groups as well. And this gives you a connect that will help you in the execution where if you are looking for a new job, if you want to change the job, starting your career, and that's where this execution part comes. And this execution also involves that you are, once you get into the project, you try to implement all the theories that you have learned over a period of time. So in this fashion, I think, there are three steps in which you can achieve this. Learn the basic, connect with the right set of community and then execute.